pops were loud. This man's pops are even louder. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Zappo lives for the pop. Goddamn. Welcome back to another video. Thank you, friends, for joining me today. Hope you're having a lovely day. We got the boy Saps here. Front and center. Cleaning up his wheels. Um, He's going to change the color on these two, I guess. So, we'll see how that happens. Today I need to buzz down on a wire tuck and I haven't done this since I did it on my 350Z so it's been like a year, maybe two years. So I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but Sops knows the risk he's taking right now. He knows it. I'm just kidding. So I've done this before but I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever shown anybody how I did it. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to take off literally every single bracket that exists here because you don't need these anymore. These, these are to hold like the cover but obviously you don't want that anymore. So. Other than that, I'm gonna hide all this wiring that's right here, all these negatives that are exposed. I'm gonna tuck all this wiring inside the motor. Um, a lot of people are concerned about whether or not like this gets really hot or not, but I did it on my car and I haven't any, had any issues. So if my car's fine, I'm sure you, your guys is fine. I, I beat the hell out of mine every day. So I'm not gonna be cutting any like wires or anything like that today. Like I'm not gonna be extending any of the spark plug wires or anything like that. I'm gonna do like the basic stuff you guys can do from your home using basic ass stuff. So like a knife, uh, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, that's all you need. I'm not gonna show you how to do all that complicated stuff because I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you. You guys don't need to be qualified to do this. I was looking at a picture and I just followed the guide and I did it on mine. So with that being said, now that I know how to do it, I'm sure I can do Sapo's car just fine. Take that off. So I don't I don't know what the hell this was, but I guess you guys know what it is now. No. I was tripping out because I don't have this, but I, now you guys know this is this is this turbo. So obviously when you guys have that cover on, you can't really see it. But if you guys take this off, the turbo doesn't work. So if you guys are looking to gap hop, the boy saps, just disconnect this red wire. All right, take this off. I don't want anything to blow up in my face, so I didn't care that. Um, everything else pretty basic. We're just gonna start taking off a bunch of brackets. So I'm gonna start with the three biggest ones, which are these. Don't be scared about cutting these. You can always just zip tie them back, but I'm gonna start cutting some of this off and then taking off these brackets and I'll show you where exactly they run through. All right, we don't need any of this like small connectors, so I'm just gonna start like cutting all these off because we don't need them. So I pretty much took everything off. So pretty much after that, I can start taking off all these brackets, which are all 10 millimeters. So this bracket right here can come off. Just kind of finagle it out of there. You could just disconnect this stuff. These are all gonna get moved anyway. So disconnect that if you need to. That bracket's out. Garbage. This one, so. All right. That's out. We'll just start finagling this thing out of here again. Just could disconnect this stuff. All these connectors are gonna get moved, so you can just move them freely. So more garbage. Uh, the next one is a less bigger deal, but it's this middle one right here. It looks ugly right here when everything else is taken off, so. We're gonna disconnect these ground wires because we're gonna put them down here next to the AC. We're gonna try to figure out his place down there. Uh, other than that, we should, we're gonna just start taking off all these connections and whatnot so we can move them to a better place like this reroute into a way better spot than it is right now so let's go ahead and do that these are all minimal ground so you could just connect those to one source like i'm about to do and show you guys uh, what we want to do is just disconnect all the wires that go up here so these connectors that go underneath like the water inlet you would want to disconnect them just because they're all going to get removed and located somewhere else so like all this wiring can get moved I would recommend doing this when it's cold. You guys can see that, just pull it out, there we go. If you've never taken these connectors off before, they're gonna need a little bit of love and a little bit of persuasion because I don't know why Nissan plugs are just so hard, man. There we go. Now we just pull all this stuff out, see? We just pull that out. Don't worry about it, these connectors only go into one connector, so if you mix them up, they can't go in, so you're good. Anyways, don't worry about it too much. Disconnect all of this stuff. You're gonna pretty much disconnect everything, so. It gives you a lot more wiggle room and be able to move a lot more of this stuff. 
move those grounds out of the way for you guys and now we have a lot more clear image of what we're doing we're gonna have to disconnect this main wire and all it is it comes from right here comes all the way down here up through down the intake and it should be this right one this left one i mean so we're gonna take this bolt off and take off the whole wire so we can route it through which way we want so we got our flathead so we can just open this stuff up just you just need to pry them open all right there we go throw that i don't know i thought it'd make it easier but it didn't so now i had to figure out how to put it back see it Ta -da! <laughs> don't be too scared sapo i've done this before like once the boy sapo is about to jump on this real quick and we're gonna see what happened This is your first time putting plastic dip stops? Yeah. Usually I fuck with paint. Yeah, usually I'd go with paint too, but this for time's call for this for measures. So Sapo's gonna start right now and I'll update you guys a little bit later on what they look like. We'll see what's cracking from there. Now that we have this unattached and all disconnected, so now we can start. You're gonna have to remove this one just because it makes the job a lot easier because this is where we're gonna route all our stuff to. So you could just take off the PCB hose. All right, just lift this up. Careful, because this is your hose line, your fuel line, so don't lift it up too high, just enough to get wires underneath it. I don't know if I'm gonna reuse this one, so I'm gonna keep this one over here. But this other line that we disconnected, I'm pretty sure it's for the alternator, we could just literally snake that in through right underneath that one tab that it was being held on by, so you just need a MacGyver in there. This other one's also gonna get right underneath, so you guys can just literally snake all this wiring through here. We put this right through i like to put it right through here so it's underneath that hose but you guys can route it whichever way you guys want to there make sure it lines up right here you guys are you guys don't have to move that one no more this one right here and right here just put that in let me see if i can put all these grounds behind this so i don't have to use all this stuff let me see let me see i did a lot better job with this car than my car geez I'm gonna have to charge this kid. All right, so that's out of the way, all those grounds. You can't see them no more. As soon as it's flat down, you won't be see them, able to see them at all. This one, we can just route it into the right here. This one's a little bit harder to get to. I don't exactly know how I did it on mine, but I'm gonna have to take this off. So all we wanna do is try to snake these connectors in through the bottom right here and through this outlet right here. You guys can see it. There's a little gap between like the main water port. And all we wanna do is try to snake this in through here and pull them out. All right, all right pull that out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Oh yes, I got it. All right, just put these back where they went. No big deal. Now you can do all the boring stuff. Like I said, they only go in one way, so if it don't fit, it's the wrong one. There we go, see now it's on. I snuck a zip tie all the way underneath this water neck. So follow that back and then sneak it all the way underneath. I think this is the easy way you're gonna do it. And after that, we're gonna connect this to right here. And then we're just gonna literally pull it all the way through. Pull this, pull this, try to help feed it. Got it through, got it through. Let me see. You know, just start pulling it. You see, it starts coming through. We can put this one underneath your regular fuel lines. Sneak that underneath. Sandwich it right there. Right about there. I'm happy with that. And then we route this underneath once again. Come up through the intake right here. And then literally route it through where it used to be routed through. So I don't know if Brian still wants to use these, but we're gonna use them anyways. Sneak this through the hole. Pull all that stuff back. There we go, see? And then this would just connect to right there, like so, like just like before. So the only thing left to put back is this hose. Oh, this one we're gonna sneak it back behind this wire. And we're just gonna connect it right around here. Because I don't know why yours has hella more brackets than mine did. Mine did 50s. Oh, that's probably why. So Brian's is a little, it's like a step up from mine. Oh, see, now this moves. Now this moves really good. See, now I can move it anywhere. Oh, I'm just taking off one of these nuts down here. That I believe is for the faceplate, but I'm going to use it to put these through right here. So, you know, good ground. 
So I'm pretty much done with the uh, guac, but let's go check on the boy Sap. Is it guac? Is it? Is it? Is it looking pretty saucy? Look at that stretchy fit, mate. Stretch. Jesus. And the homie thinks he's gonna beat me like this. Sheesh. The homie really thinks he's gonna be racing like that. No. I feel like this looks way better. It, it, hella, it hella cleans up like the metal part. That's what it does. What do you mean I took out hella shit? Look at all this crap I took out that you don't even need. Obviously you still got like your harness right here and like down here and stuff, but what it mainly does is just cleans up a lot of like the front stuff, like the front plate. But for like a, a something you can do like at home with like minimal like shit, like I think this is pretty good, no? Don't you think? I'm gonna after this. Like I think I think this is pretty easy. I didn't cut any wires. I didn't. Oh yeah, those are. Yeah, something like that. I mean, that sounds like it works, right? That one doesn't work, but press press the, the tip on the blue one. On the, yeah, no, from the side. Yeah. Oh, it's not connected. Never mind. Never mind. It's what makes the turbo noise in this car. I want to go pew. He doesn't have it connected because he don't want to be all right out. Right, so that's, that's, it that's what I'm gonna end today's video, guys. If this video was helpful to you guys in any way, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. It really helps out YouTubers. So any YouTuber you guys like, you know, make sure to support them. Make sure to let them know that you guys definitely watch this stuff by subscribing or leaving a like. Simple as that. Now I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you guys take care, stay healthy out there, and I'll catch you guys soon.